Father, we bless you. Let your name be exalted in the name of Jesus. This is Rema series part 21. Uh, this is my jottings from uh, the message that was preached by Bishop Abioye at Dunamis headquarters. Now, it is not enough to have a revival. It is important to sustain the revival. To to revive means to bring back to life something that is dying or about to die. Revival is a spiritual awakening. There's a difference between being an orator and being an oracle. <laughs> you can be very good in oratory. You know, the only thing or oration does is to attract applaud. But an oracle is the one speaking the mind of God. The evidence of spiritual awakening is brokenness of heart. Don't use the confusion of faith. Okay. Don't use the confession of faith to replace the confession of sin. Let God know you are sorry when you do something wrong. Stop playing wise. One of the greatest hindrances to revival is unconfessed sins. John chapter 2, verse 12 to 13. A sanctified altar will produce a sanctified congregation. If the altar carries fire, it will sanctify the congregation. An unrevived minister cannot revive the congregation. How to know, how to know you are in a revival? Now, the first thing is that when your heart begins to pant after God and the interest of his kingdom. Now, Another thing is to stop pursuing God. You know, it is it is it is dangerous to stop pursuing God because you want to pursue ministry. You can succeed in ministry and still be missing in the kingdom. So don't stop pursuing God because you want to succeed in ministry. Ministry is what is ministry? Ministry is about your relationship about is about your relationship with God. So don't leave God because you want to because you want to chase ministry. The way to chase ministry is to chase God. So when you chase God, God takes care of the ministry. That's the wisdom. If God can use an ass, then anybody can be used and ignored if they choose. To walk on a strange path. Jesus said, When we get to heaven, many shall say, In your name we cast out devils. In your name we preach here and there. And Jesus will say, I know ye not. That will mean that when they were praying on earth, Jesus had to answer because they used this name. When you when you wake in the morning, what is the first thing you think about? Many think about other things that is not relevant. But how to know a heart that pants after God is that God is the first thought they think. Don't lose your relationship with God because you want to keep your ministry. That can be dangerous because you may end up losing both your life and the ministry. Psalm 51 verse 11. A heart that pants after God, thinks God, talks about God, and relates with God is a heart that is revived. Another way to know you are in revival is when you are consumed with an undying passion to see the unsaved saved. The moment you stop winning souls, you are already dying. The moment you stop so winning something is dying in you without you knowing Agai chapter 1 verse 14 revival also steers up our spirit revival time is work time it is not a play time it is work time a call to ministry is not a call for leisure and pleasure it is a call to work Luke 2 49 ministry is the father's business a business demands seriousness. If you don't name sin, you cannot tame sin. Don't, you know, 
Don't call lying a slip of tongue. Call it the name that it should be called if you want to overcome it. Don't call fornication fall. Name it to tame it. Sin is a sinker. If you allow it, you will end under the water of unrighteousness. Revivalists of old are laborers who do not live normal life nor keep normal schedules. Every general begins with a laborer. Many are looking for rats when they have not made their marks. You don't seek for rats. You make your mark and your mark will give you your rank. Nothing works without somebody working it. Don't wish a rank. Make your mark and your mark will give you your rank. Fire does not come on lazy people. Fire comes on, you know, on people who are on duty. Any assignment that does not task you cannot make you. Any assignment that does not task you cannot make you. It will cost you something to pay you something. Reviver is tasking. Reviver is for those who are ready to drink from the cup of persecution. Mark chapter 10, verse 37 to 38. We cannot take suffering from the gospel. Paul says, if you suffer with him, you will reign with him. If we bear his reproach, we will enjoy his glory. An opportunity for people to mock you is an opportunity for God to make you if you are walking in his way. If you are not prepared to suffer for Christ, you are not yet ready to be selfless. Not those looking for reputation. It is for those who are ready to decrease for God to increase. Philippians 2, 5-6, John 3:30. The reason Jesus is not increasing among us is because we are trying to increase ourselves instead of decreasing for Christ to increase. Ministry is not for fear. It is not the numbers of people following you on social media that matters. Are you following Christ? Ministry is not about numbers. It is about function. 1 Corinthians 7:20 What are the platforms of labor that can What are the platforms of labor that can help you sustain and maintain your fire The first thing is kingdom advancement prayer and fasting 2 Corinthians 11:27 If you don't maximize your useful days if you don't maximize your youthful days you may suffer in old age. The strength of the youth is in their the, the, the glory of the youth is in their strength. The hood eat for strength, while the young ones eat. Okay, uh, the the old the old may eat for pleasure. But the young ones eat for strength. The church on the mission is the one that will live forever. Any church that is not on the mission will soon die. It is a church that is on mission that will live forever. Gospel bearers are power carriers. Gospel bearers are power carriers. Those who devote themselves to preaching the gospel we end up carrying the power of Christ. When we stop working, things stop working. When we stop working, revival will stop. Receive grace to do the work of the Father and not grow weary in Jesus' name. This is the wisdom of God. Don't